Good morning, my brothers and sisters. It is Friday, August 8th, 2014, and we're going to read Joshua chapter 20. The Lord also spoke unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out of, appoint out of you cities of refuge, whereof I speak unto you by the hand of Moses, that the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwittedly may flee thither. And they shall be your refuge from the anger of blood. And when he that doth flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause in the air of the elder of the city, they shall take him into the city unto them, and give him a place that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand, because he smote his neighbor unwittedly, and hated him not formally. And he shall dwell in the city until he stand before the congregation for judgment, and unto the death of the, and unto the death of the high priest that shall be in those days. Then shall the slayer return and come unto his own city and unto his own house and unto the city from whence he fled. And they appointed. Kadesh in Galilee, and Mount Nephtali, and Sechem in Mount Ephraim, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, in the mountain of Judah. And on the other side of Jordan, by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness upon the plain, out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramath in Galid, out of the tribe of God, and Golan in Bashan, out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, and for the strangers that sojourneth among them, that whosoever killeth any person at, unaware, at unawares may flee thither, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. And that does conclude chapter 20 of Joshua for today. It is kind of funny that it's talking about the Avenger of Blood and about killing people and that when last night's message was about the blood. You know, you really got to watch that one by uh, Jeff Earls. So I'll have it in my like folder as soon as he gets it put up. It's a shame we only got four more chapters of Joshua because it is a pretty interesting chapter on how he kept how God kept his word to the children of Israel and you know we finally get to not finally but we get to see the promise fulfilled peace be in you my brothers and sisters may the Lord have mercy on us all if you're in rebellion and if you are rebelling repent Stop doing what it is you're doing. Your rebellions aren't going to send you to hell, per se, but they could close doors that only He can reopen. And if you continue in the rebellion, then you could end up foregoing your rights, your future. What is really worth what he has in store for you? Those idols of yours, are they really worth losing Jesus? Losing favor? Losing your grace? They're not going to send you to hell, but if you choose to choose them, over Christ, over God? What's that really saying? Where does your true heart lie? I love you guys very, very much. God bless.